the Jaguar loom. It may look a little primitive, but in its day, it was a marvel. Here's a harvesting machine. It turned the Great Plains into the breadbasket of our nation. This may not look like an antique, but in a sense it is. It's from one of the first IBM computers. It could solve problems in a few minutes that would have taken a team of mathematicians months to do, but it used vacuum tubes. Remember your old radio? And while these tubes may not seem so big to us, to an engineer or scientist, they pose gigantic problems. They weren't reliable enough, they used too much energy, and they were too big. You see, all these vacuum tubes, which were essentially on-off switching devices, were connected to the other components by miles and miles of wire. Even though electricity travels at the speed of light, the time it takes to go through the system depends on the distance it has to travel. Engineers and scientists wanted to make computers faster. They wanted to make millions of calculations possible in the blink of an eye. So they needed switches that were a thousand times faster. Today, all those tubes and other electronic components have been compressed onto a tiny chip made from the pure silicon crystal. This chip that can fit through the eye of a needle can do the work of a thousand vacuum tubes. Now those millions of calculations can be done in the blink of an eye and they can be done a lot cheaper. In fact, the number of calculations that would have cost more than a dollar a couple of decades ago now cost less than a penny. And that means computers are now available to do a lot more jobs, to solve a lot more problems for a lot more people.